Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. For years now, we've wondered what the aircraft of the future will look like. We've had concept after concept, failed project after failed project. However, it'd be wrong of me not to explore new ideas here on the channel. And as silly as they may sound or even look, they do personally intrigue me. Today, we're taking a look at something that KLM and TU Delft have joined forces to make. Aircraft manufacturers, as we know them today, are trying to make the aviation industry and aircraft more sustainable and continue making these aircraft which are fuel efficient as well and today's proposal and concept known as the flying v is set to promise that with its quirky design and aerodynamic shape it will reduce weight and therefore use 20 percent less fuel than the a350 an aircraft that is already known for its fuel efficiency it's expected that the aircraft known as the Flying V will be officially revealed as a full concept at the KLM Experience Days set to take place in October to help celebrate the 100th anniversary of KLM. If so, if you are around the area, I'd definitely recommend trying to go to this and check it out. The KLM president and CEO said, In recent years, KLM has developed as a pioneer in sustainability within the airline industry. The development of aviation has given the world a great deal, offering us an opportunity to connect people. This privilege is paired with a huge responsibility for our planet. KLM takes this very seriously and has therefore been investing in sustainability at different levels for many years, enabling it to develop a broad spectrum of sustainability initiatives. We are proud of our progressive cooperation relationship with TU Delft, which ties in well with KLM's strategy and serves as an important milestone for us on the road to scaling up sustainable aviation. When taking a look at the exact specifications of the aircraft, it would seat some 314 passengers in a standard two-class configuration with the same volume of cargo as that on the Airbus A350. It would even fit in the hangar of an Airbus A350. It would slot onto the taxiways at all airports. It would fit into gates and it would be able to use all the current infrastructure more widely at airports around the world. This is a major bonus. As we've seen with the likes of the A380, airports having to pour combined totals of billions into redoing inside of their airport and also outside to help cope with the size and demand that comes with airlines operating the A380 into their said airport. What about inside the Flying V? How will it benefit airlines and also travellers? While keeping with the theme of efficiency, all materials would be carefully selected to ensure that the type is as lightweight as possible and can therefore save airlines as much money as possible. However, with that, bathrooms and also seats would still be as comfortable as possible for the travellers, with the seat layout taking the seats all the way to the wings, and airlines would therefore have a lot more potential when it comes to the configuration of the aircraft. What are your thoughts on a flying V? While it's not confirmed that this will ever get in the skies, there are a lot more tests to go on. We've seen some concepts fail at the drawing board, and that's something we need to keep in mind. However, it is still very exciting, and I would be interested to hear your thoughts on it down in the comment section below, or potentially over on my Twitter page. Thank you very much for watching another one of my videos, and I do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one.